Hi guys, welcome back to the channel again. Uh, just before we get started in this video, I just want to give a huge shout out to those who are subscribing to the channel, sort of helping me get off my feet, so to speak. Um, it's always good. Um, look, I'm, a, I'm an avid Thomas Wooden Railway uh, fan. Love collecting these and um, I love sharing uh, the interest with other people. It's sort of, um, it's a hobby, it's a passion of mine. Um, yeah, just thank you for those who have shared interest in the channel. And uh, like, if you haven't and you've seen this video, definitely give it a subscribe. Um, I'm definitely, once I continue all these um, videos of going through the collection, I'd love to start doing some character reviews, uh, things like that, general discussions, maybe doing videos with other other people in the Thomas Wooden Rally community. Um, and uh, we'll just, we'll see what happens going forward. Uh, but we've got to start somewhere and uh, I guess, here is where it is. All right, so as you can see, this is a part of a learning curve set. So you can probably see a few of them there. All right, I will show them out one by one. Uh, there's a lot to get through, so I'll just try and keep it as brief as possible. I'll just put this back on the stand. All right. The first item we'll have a look at today will be a boxed Billy. Yeah, he's a nice one. He's a very cool train. He's um, he's not hard to find box, but it's they're, they're not very common. He's from 2007. Uh, I love the color in him. Um, not much else to say about that, really. Yeah, Billy. Okay, next, uh, Reneus. Yeah, uh, you see, from Toy World up here, not that long ago. Uh, let's see, 20, so, did I say it's 2008 version? Yeah. Uh, also another yellow label one. Um, with white wheels. Uh, these are, you do find these pretty, they're pretty frequent up um, around Australia. Um, I know another seller up here managed to get about six of them. I think he found it at a, at a Toy World a couple of years back. Um, obviously leftover stock. Alright, next one. Just acquired this recently. Uh, Stanley. Also a 2008 version. Yeah. Um, I, I do prefer this version of Stanley compared to the Mattel ones. Um, I only found this about 20 bucks um, just on the marketplace. Just thought, why not? Uh, grabbed it. Stanley. Next up. Fergus. I'm gonna say that's a, I can't really tell from that. It's a, it's got a 2005 card, so it must be a, an 05 or an 06 box. Uh, yeah, he's another one. He's, um, yeah, you'd see him everywhere and then and there. Um, box, they're not that common, but like I said, they're not that hard to find either. Fergus. Next up. SC Ruffy or Scruffy. Um, the box has got a bit of the sun fade going on there, but nonetheless, it's still um, it's still a, a nice item. 2006 version. This was one that I got. This is probably when I started my uh, collection journey. There was a lady who advertised in Gumtree for about $600. Uh, she had about oh, there must have been about like 40 to 50 of them, and she only, yeah, like I said, it was only $600. Uh, in retrospect, I should have bought every single one of them. Uh, but at the time, I couldn't really separate myself to spend that much money. Um, funny note, she did have two Iron Aries and Iron Berts and two Max and Montes in that set. The last two that I've, apparently for whatever reason, they've just shot up in value. Uh, seem to be hard to find, apparently. Um, I don't have either of those, and they're actually the ones I'm probably chasing the most. Um, kicking myself, I didn't grab one of them, especially when she had two of them. But it is what it is. Scruffy. All right, let's check it back. Who's next? Ah, Terence. This is 2006 version. I believe this is the last year of Terence. Maybe, no, sorry, this is a 2004 version. I think 2006 is the last year of him. Um, and then he, I think he's only found in the Sodor, uh, not the Sodor, Jeremy in the Airfield set and possibly in another promotional gift pack that's from there on in. Um, yeah, he's fully intact. Um, yeah, Terence is just another one of those common items. Okay, what have we got now? Oh, that's another both simple one, the Soda Weather Tracker. Found that for about $12 on eBay. I thought, why not? Um, 
postage is only about eight bucks, so twenty dollars all up. Can't go wrong. Two thousand eight. So the weather tracker. Next, oh this one's pretty cool. Uh, Proteus. Yeah, uh, I, li I like him. Like the lamp lights up. Um, he is the other box, so he must be 2008 or 2009, 2008 he is. Um, yeah, he's, he's a really cool one. He was part of that same um, lot that I bought off the lady. Spent about $300 on that lot. I, I will remember sort of which ones that I, I got from that lot. This one also was from that lot. Very glad I had this one, because I knew this was one was a fairly rare one. Hector. I love the look of him, Ash. He's one of my, he's becoming one of my favorite trains, actually. Really cool look. Um, it's a 2008 7 version. Um, yeah, it, it's a nice train. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, boxed, yeah, definitely. It's a more on the harder, si harder side to find. Harder, yeah, harder side to find. It's um, not that common, especially in Australia. Next, D199, part of that same bunch that I bought. Yeah, he's he's pretty cool. Um, I definitely want an earlier version of D199, probably like a 96, 97, or even like a brown label, uh, 98 or 99, but this 2006, yeah, he, he's nice. Uh, I like it. Definitely love, um, love the color in that character. It's really nice. Right, D199. Oh, next we have Byron. Yeah, Byron, he's kind of cool. I, I do like him. Um, he's completely intact. He's got the exposed thing there. Try me. Uh, 2006, yeah. Um, yeah, he's, he's kind of cool. Uh, a lot of people seem to be interested in this guy. Uh, I, I dare say, obviously, when it has the tracks, it's a bit more valuable. Um, I've known a few people that are sort of after that one. Yeah, Byron. I'll put him back. Hey, another good one. Mighty Mac, part of the same, actually no, I think I got that in a different lot, but it was, it was very cheap, it was only about $20 that I managed to find that for. Um, it's quite a score. Uh, Mighty Mac from 2006. Yeah, the character color, yeah, he, he's, he's a cool train. Um, yeah, not much more else to say about him. Yeah, another one of those ones. You can sort of find them loose everywhere, here and there. All right. Hey, this is one is not a bad one. This is a semi-rare one. Uh, old slow coach. 2006 or five in 2006. Uh, yeah, he's a cool train. I like this guy, especially boxed. You don't see a whole lot of them boxed. They um, definitely can find them um, loose. Don't command that high value maybe 15 to 25 dollar range but boxed is uh, another question now um, semi hard to find box uh, i managed to get one though probably paid i think i paid about i think i paid, paid 30 cash in hand for that i think the seller was sort of a bit cluey that they were sort of semi collectible and valuable items but 30 bucks uh i took the, i took the uh, initiative and grabbed it all right here's a here's an interesting one here is an interesting one all right these ones, for whatever reason, um, yeah, I don't know why people have decided that these are valuable now. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't get it. You can still find these everywhere. I think I mentioned in the previous video, like I, I found a couple of these for five bucks a piece. I don't get it, but here they are in the boxed version. Express coaches, it's an interesting box. You can see it comes out the back there, it got, got the, carries the two coaches. It's a bit sun faded. It's from 2005. Um, I'm not sure if that's the last year. I think that might be the last year. Maybe it went to 2006. Should do a bit more research. Um, yeah, a bit sun faded the box, but again, it's it's a um, yeah shit. This box would be in excess of $100 now easily. Um, that that same bunch that I bought. Yeah, I definitely saw these and grabbed them. Um, probably worked out to be about 10 to 15 dollars. Um, for the train, uh, for the packaging on itself. I got it real cheap. All right, that same lot again. Arthur from 2006. Yeah, Arthur, he's, he's an interesting train. Um, I've seen a, 
There was a lot up on Gumtree just the other day. I managed to see. I think they were selling that for about $45. I think that's a reasonable price to ask. It's a semi-rare one. Yeah, it's a bit hard to find. Yeah. He's cool. I like the colour on him. Arthur. Alright. Uh, yeah, it's another fairly interesting one. Um, pretty straightforward. It's a Derek. Uh, you can find these everywhere. Loose, uh, boxed, not a crazy, not impossible to find boxed. Uh, don't command too high a price. This is a 2006 version. Yeah, Derek, what style of writing? He has that different style of writing. Uh, there are some Derek's that have a distinct font. Uh, you can tell that they are like an early 2000, 2000 2001 version. Um, but this one, yeah, it's obviously a later version. Derek. Alright, let's pull these two in the middle out. Alright, here, here. Mavis bought in that same lot. Um, yeah, it's kind of just pretty cool, I guess. Hold on to a later, later Mavis. Um, I do have an earlier style of Mavis, so I'll show that off in a later video. Or um, let. Um, uh, cat's got my tongue. I'll show him off in a later video. Now you can see the other early version that I have. 2006, Mavis. Right, the other one is a 2007 Sir Top of Matt's car. Yeah, uh, this one wasn't too hard to find. This is about only $20. From that same lady actually that I bought, uh, who did I buy? Who did I buy, dickhead? I bought the Stanley off, yeah. I think her mum, mum must have her said, she said her mum held on to a few of them and she was just sort of pointing them off bit by bit. I've got her, got her number. She, I've always told her to just give me a ring if she has something. Yeah, he's kind of cool. Blue versions, top of Matt's car. Yeah. All right, where to next up the front here? Yeah, this is, yeah, this is a nice one. I definitely like an earlier version, but here he is, a later version. So handle, part of that same lot that I bought. Um, this is 2007. Yeah, kind of cool. I don't mind him. Uh, like I said though, the um, I, I think the earlier, the earlier um, with a different style. What do you call it? The 96, 97 boxes. I do prefer that one. I'm definitely trying to find him at the right price. Um, just not very common at the moment for whatever reason. You find Fred and Renee's and Scarlo and the rest of them, and uh, but not him, for whatever reason. Smudger. He's kind of cool. I do like him. I'm glad that's part of that same lot that I bought. 2008. Yeah, Smudger. He's very cool. The golden dome there with the little golden stripes there. Going through his colour. No, it's a different colour green. I kind of like that colour. Yeah, it goes well. All right, what we got next? Oh yeah, another another fairly rare one. Uh, Dennis, yeah, box. This is pretty rare. Um, I thought I saw one on eBay for about fifty dollars. I mean, fifty dollars is not a not a crazy not a crazy asking price. They are collectibles now. Um, let me put put it put the offer to a sale for forty five or something. Might be lucky. Two thousand six. Yeah, Dennis. Oh, can't complain. Okay, what have we got now? I think I've gone back to the right, get on the front. All right, this is a cool, this is a very cool box version. Um, I missed up, missed the opportunity to get a 2001 box, which I obviously think I do. I do like different styles of this guy. Toad, we speak of. This is a 2006 version. Yep, 2006. He's, he's a very cool item. I mean, everyone sort of wants a toad. Once you collect Thomas Wood and Halle, it's, um, yeah, you get Oliver and then you just have to get Toad to go with it. Yeah. Toad. Pretty cool. Next. Ooh, just acquired this from the US for whatever reason. I bought it in the US because it was only about $9, $10 um, with the bid. Uh, and that went $5 postage. So it worked out to be about $15 US, which comes to about $25 just under here. Charlie. 2009. Well, that's, um, that must be, yeah, I think it's, no, it's, lo it's learning curve, it's still learning curve, not timing yet, but they've got the, look at that, the style of the box there, 
Yeah, the yellow label, that's Charlie. I do like the early version compared to the uh, Fisher Price Patel ones. Just for, well, I don't even know if there's that much of a difference technically. I think, actually, I think there is at the back there, maybe the detailing in the cabin. Uh, I don't have a um, Mattel one, but if I do, I'll maybe one day examine the differences. Yeah, Charlie, he's cool. Love it. Alright, we got. Uh -huh. oh, another one from the similar to the handle range. Peter Sam. 2008. 2008. Yeah, he's cool. Um, I love Peter Sam. It was part of the same bunch, like I said, that I bought off the lady. Um, yeah, I mean, I think everyone's got to have a Peter Sam. Uh, these, again, uh, I think they, they, they sell for a bit now. They'd probably be in the 50 plus range um that's not super unreasonable but yeah it's i mean i got it at the right price at the right time all right just acquired this guy the other day found him for about 25 dollars um not a bad price just with postage just under 35 jack that should got him about two weeks ago i think yeah he's cool he's a 2006 version uh not sure if that's first year or not um might be 2004, 2005 might be the first year. Um, either way, he's pretty cool. Um, I like this version compared to the Mattel version as well. Um, I, I think that was brought out in Australia. I'm pretty sure you could, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can find that. Um, not common. I don't remember seeing it in the stores, but um, we always just found our jacks loose amongst lots. Never had it. Bought it. Bada bing, bada boom. Easy. All right. Oh, also, I just acquired a couple of weeks ago. Um, that lady that I bought the lot off, she also had this in it, and I passed on it because it wasn't really a character I was interested in, but never had it. Now I do. Madge is a 2008 version. 2008 Madge. Yeah, another cool one. I lost an auction in the US. Uh, it was only about $9 starting bid. I think one other person bid on me. I only about to fifteen. They they wanted it at fifteen fifty. And they had free postage as well, so that would have been fairly cheap. Uh, nonetheless, I found this for I think I yeah won this I won this at an auction in Australia for twenty five dollars. I was the only bid. I left it till the last few minutes, and um, she's online now. Kind of cool train. Boxed. It's uh, pretty hard to find. Boxed. It's not. Doesn't appear that commonly. Yeah. Madge. Alright, who have I got next? Uh, the Duke. Yeah, later, definitely a later version compared to others. I think there is a tiny version of it. Um, I haven't seen many of them. Yeah, this is a 2008 version. Um, I'm endeavouring to try and find a 96, 97 one because I think they look just as cool. I mean, he looks cool too. I like the colour with the that. What would you call it? Like an orange, the golden orange colour with the yellow, yellow stripes um, on his um, on his cabin there. Yeah, Duke. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, who have I got now? Oh, this, this one. I'm looking to endeavour to looking to swap this out a little bit. It's got a marginal bit of damage on the front here. Neville. Yeah, he's another. He's a rare one to find boxed. Um, that lot that I mentioned on Gumtree the other day, um, they had one in it, but they wanted 50, 45 or 50 bucks for it. So maybe it's just not worth that much just to um, swap it out because as you can see, he's got, uh, it's got a hole there. Yeah, but it's in a box, you know, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lose too much sleep over it. It's still pretty much an unboxed item. Still a collectible. If I find one like super, super cheap, I will, um, I'll probably get one at a later date, but yeah, Neville. I always probably sell him for about the same cost on eBay. Alright. Neville, I think he too was also bought as part of that lot that I got off the lady. Same with the Duke. And I think that was it. Next up, Isabella. Yeah, I found this just on the uh, just on the west western suburbs of or the northwestern suburbs of Brisbane, somewhere just down the Tawong area. Um, I think she only wanted $25 for this. That's a, a very reasonably priced item. Uh, it's definitely worth a lot more than that, I think. Uh, boxed, it's a 2008 version. 
yeah, I mean, you can find these loose. That's not that hard to find. I guess even but with the thing there, that is the throw the key qualifying. The tray there always gets lost. I mean, you can throw it here with the tender and without the thing. Uh, if you press that thing there, obviously it retracts the retracts the back tray there. Yeah, Isabella, I do like that one. It's one of my uh, favorite boxed items that I have in this in this lot. All right, I might I might come back to oh, do, do. yeah. I'm gonna get these two little basic bastards. Off. We'll get these three basic ones out of the way. Why not? Gold Prospectors car. I bought that with Isabel the Isabel for fifteen dollars. I gave it forty for the two. Why not? Painful average, but I've got it. Much to do with the recycling cars. Again, is what it is. It's, uh, somehow there's freaking shit and debris it's gotten in the package there. I mean, there must be a hole somewhere. There's some spider or something has found its way in there. I don't know how, but whatever. Recycling cars. Okay, and last one. Got that for about $10, the Soda Road Crew. Yeah, shit, rubbish truck and street sweeper. Yeah, very basic. All right. Now, what do I come back to? All right, I'll go out here. I also just acquired this in the States. It was just an, an auction for about $10. No, sorry, it was about $14. Um, uh, no bids, so I bid that. One for $14 with about $5 postage. 19 US was just under two, just under 30 Australian. Emily, the early box version. Uh, yeah, I do, I do like this one. Not, I, don't, I believe it's not the first year release, but it's it's definitely earlier than the like. She's a later, uh, like a later on sort of train, a bit more, a bit more. She appears a lot more frequently with a bit more prevalence. Um, Two thousand and six. Emily, I definitely yeah like that box style. All right, we'll come back to. Oh, here we go. That's part of that same lot with the lady. Is a cool one boxed flora, yeah, very nice. I, I love that I've got this boxed because, uh, again, this one's fairly hard to find, not that it doesn't appear that frequently. Um, trans prices generally from 30 to 40 in the US plus. We here you're probably looking at 50 60 plus. I got it for about 10 to 15 dollars, probably worked out to be the, about that rate. Um, yeah, flora, really cool. Flora's tram. Love that I've got that item. Very nice one. Alright, right, I'll just leave. I'm trying to work, leave which one I think is the best one to show for last. Alright, uh, yeah, this one boxed is fairly rare. Hank. Yeah, you'll see this in the US, probably go for 60 plus. Um, generally from 60 to 80, you'd be lucky to find it under that price. Uh, 2008 version. Yeah, he's he's a cool. He's part of that same lot that I got off the lady. I just saw a Hank. I was like, oh shit. Yeah, I'll take that one. Um, yeah, he's a cool train. He's obviously an American train. He's from the south. Uh, nice nice color on him. I um, I like him. He's a good he's a good character. Very good boxed item there that one. Hank. All right, I'll leave third last. Okay. Another rare one boxed. Um, this won't be found very frequently boxed. Molly. Molly from 2006. Yeah, very nice train. I love, love the colour in it. Um, I think it's one of those characters. Everyone wants some Molly. Um, you can always sell these loose. I always manage to sell these loose on eBay for $15, $20. Uh, always sells. Uh, yeah, I don't know much more else to say about her. Um, but like I said, box does, uh, commands a very high price. Much to do with, like, Frank and, uh, sorry, Frank, Hank and, um, probably Murdoch and Big City Engine, some of those other sort of early 2000 to 2005 characters that, um, that sort of had that, um, that brief sort of, uh, introduction to learning curve. Molly. All right. I think my last two are the most special two. Um, I'll give with the we're saying the word two. I guess that's probably the giveaway. The twins, Donald, Douglas, two thousand six boxed. I'm going to say two thousand six. Yep, they are both two thousand six boxes. 
Uh, this was also part of that lot that I got from the lady. I saw a Donald and Douglas. I honestly would have thought that... I was expecting to hear her tell me that, no, some of them have been sold already. When she told me they hadn't, I was like, oh, yeah, give me them, give me them, give me them now. I wanted them yesterday. Oh, these are so cool. I, like, I love the fact that I have these. Um, spoiler alert, I think... I, um, I, no, I think... Uh, definitely uh, managed to secure a Douglas in the 1996 box version. Uh, I did have a bit of wear in it, but honestly, for the price I got it, the box is actually probably worth more than the actual train itself. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll be getting that from the States probably in a short period. Um, that's why I collect some other things over there. Um, yeah, Douglas and Donald. They're one of those ones that everyone wants. Uh, box, these will set you back a lot. Um, the 99 boxes... Uh, they go for even more than uh, more than a hundred. Both of them, you're probably looking at. Even in this style, um, this would be worth like two hundred dollars easily. It's just they they, they sort of have that status. Um, then like the brown label boxes, probably two fifty for two of them. If you find the even earlier versions, um, if you find a first year release box, oh, geez, you're, you're looking at a lot of money. A lot of money from um, the early sort of learning curve, uh, early learning center models. Donald. Douglas. Alright, away you go. Okay. Alright guys, that was the that was we'll call that part one of the learning curve. There's actually another big box of learning curve items to go through. I will uh, I'll make a video in the next few days. Uh, I'm just trying to space them out regularly between work commitments, family life, you know how it always is. Um Uh, not much more else to add to that guys um, I hope you've enjoyed that video um, like I said um, share the video get other people subscribe to the channel um, and as always take care and peace out